Whenever I do a video on a cartoon out of context, I feel like one of the main steps when it comes to getting ready is just mentally preparing myself for what I'm about to witness. But to me, Phineas and Ferb seems a little more innocent. Am I about to have that ruined? We'll have to wait and see. <laughs> <laughs> Before we start, I thought I'd let you know that I have a gaming channel. I've been playing a bunch of different games over there, including things like Five Nights at Freddy's and Doki Doki Literature Club. So if it sounds like something you'd want to watch, the link will be in the description below. I just insulted the macaroni and cheese recipe of a whale! What part of that is not evil? I'm just thinking about how big those pieces of macaroni would have to be for a whale. Yeah, I mean, whales do eat like krill, but like, you know, if you were gonna make something whale-sized, a, a human portion of mac and cheese wouldn't do it. Unless it's a whale-sized portion of human-sized mac and cheese. As in, mac and cheese sized for humans, not human-sized. <laughs> Nothing distracts kids like ice cream. I mean, I know that there was a certain implication with that sentence, which I did not like. Um, however, I will take solace in that it was not intended that way. Oh darn. <laughs> better. Where's Perry? Was it a clone? A time clone? A cl what? I'm assuming Phineas and Ferb cloned her, but the implications of them being able to just clone anyone they like is truly horrifying. Wherefore art thou, Perry? I wonder where that Perry went. Oh, where is that platypus? Where the pea man at? Behold, I mean, I'd back away slowly. Oh, he's wearing socks for every piece of clothing. <laughs> I accept that he's gone full sock man. My question is, whose sock is on his torso? Why his feet that big? Was it specifically crafted as like a sock sweater? Too many questions. Towards me, Perry the Platypus. What? Why is he such a creeper? My mother would never let me swim in public pools. No. Did Doofenshmirtz have like a really sad childhood or something? I've been out here roasting him like practically every video and now, I mean, look, it's not like it excuses behavior in any way. There are plenty of people who have horrible abusive childhoods and you know, don't turn into supervillains. <laughs> but uh, you know, I feel mildly bad for my Doofenshmirtz roast. Well, maybe I should give you an emotionally scarring front story. Okay, that doesn't even make any sense. It doesn't have to, I'm not a monster child. How is that not a TikTok sound? I also love that it could be seen somewhat as a commentary. <laughs> when you have things like these, you don't gotta answer questions. Barb, I know what we're gonna do today. Or I should say, I know what we're gonna do 20 years from today. So again, what are the impl- Do they time travel? Is that what that is? You question too much. Having access to things like cloning people and time travel. Whoa, Matthew's crazy. He's concerned about that. If it turned out that the 10 year olds next door had a freaking time machine, I'd be like, mm, call, the, call the CIA. I'm in Australia and I'd call the CIA, I don't know. Talk about horrific implications. The children were taken away sealed and stored until adulthood. One, why? And two, I don't want to know why. Is Perry the Black? Oh. That means I'm gonna Does he think they're friends? Is Doof- Wait! I remember. Perry's a spy, right? But he's acting as Doofenshmirtz as like evil animal assistant, right? No. Oh. That's right, he's assigned the Doofenshmirtz to like catch him yes. by the spy people. Yes. <gasps> Wait a minute, why does he lose I'm five- I'm sorry, all questions must be phrased in the form of an answer. <laughs> <laughs> that took me way too long. I could, I could feel the gears turning in my head. I was like, oh, they're making fun of Jeopardy, but then I realized that all questions must be phrased as an answer. But also that doesn't make sense. I'm literally trying to think of all the questions I have and how I could possibly form them into answers instead of questions, and it's not making sense. For one requested Phineas and Ferb song, New extended version never before seen. <laughs> See shilling in the middle of an episode? I really, from the depth of my heart, don't like that gift. It's uncomfortable for very confusing reasons. I don't even know why. Name Mr. The Regurgitator. See, look over there. And you thought I was making it up. There are so many things happening that I just, I'm trying not to question. Also, is that what Perry looks like when he's not vertical? Because why does he have fins on his back feet and not his front feet? For when he goes vertical. Yeah, no, I understand that, but he's a platypus, right? Hmm. I, I know. I, I know what you're getting at, but that, that is exactly why, because he goes vertical. <laughs> and uses them as hands. It looks really weird, man. Deal. Blast it, Carl. Why doesn't he answer? 
Oh, 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 oh. Is the MM guy Perry's boss? But then why was Doofenshmirtz just casually talking to him when he's like, I have a monster truck? <laughs> is this one of those situations where, like, oh, they're villains and the good guys, they don't care? Like, it's like, oh, one's an evil person that wants to destroy the world or whatever, and the other ones are like, ah, oh, he's so silly. And they kind of just friendly interact, and it's kind of like their co-workers. <laughs> Weird, man. But, uh I think you should go back to the grocery store. Why? Because I I bet you forgot uh that stuff. Oh, I guess I did. Are the parents stupid? Is it one of those shows where the parents are just like bots? You know? But then if it's the case that canonically they're just a little, you know, not present, how did they give birth to two super geniuses? One day the carnival came to town and I needed money because of well yet another backstory that. Basically, my parents disowned me. I was being raised by Ocelot. Stop it, Doofenshmirtz. I already feel bad for you. Why are you making it worse? I have to marry a monkey and have monkey kids and name them Xavier and Amanda. This is what real mothering looks like. This is concerning in a whole other way. Phineas and Ferb seems to be the kind of show where I have an initial reaction and then the more I think about it, the more horrific it becomes with every implication having a dozen more implications that all make me feel weird. In this pile of stuff, there is not a single thing I don't find disconcerting. We just discovered Doofenshmirtz has been stealing bottles from recycling bins, and nothing good can come from that. Oh, maybe I'm reading into that a bit much as well, but I'm trying to piece together things. Each time that MM guy has come up and briefed them about Doofenshmirtz, it's been relatively innocuous stuff. Like, oh, he's got some carpet and he's got some bottles from recycling bins. Is the whole thing that Doofenshmirtz is kind of doing, like, nothing that harmful, and yet they're going after him anyway? Is that, is that a thing? Maybe he's driven to further lengths because they refuse to accept he's anything but evil. Evil. So he's like, well, if you're gonna think I'm evil, I'll be evil. My name is Doof, and you'll do what I say. <laughs> My name is Doof, and you'll do what I say. Does he go by Doof? Yo, Doofo! Schmerzy! <laughs> I think that's the most Australian thing you've yeah. said. How you going, Schmerzy? I go meet Doofo at the club, let's go! What the heck is going on? Yeah, that's a fantastic question. What the heck is going on? I have had so many questions and analyzed so much of this that a four and a half minute no context compilation has now turned to over half an hour of footage. I'm, I want to see a little bit more. A little, 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 little bit more. And I'll try to not question it and my sanity quite as much. Well, Ferb, you certainly know how to show a girl a good time. Seven seconds in. Sanity is gone. He's holding a screwdriver. They knew. They knew the implic- I mean, that's why they said it. They knew the implications. Unhappy Matthew. Your hot dog is no match for my bratwurst! Is this an adult joke compilation we're getting on already? Like, oh, you really know how to show a girl a good time while he's holding a screwdriver and then your hot dog's no match for my bratwurst! It's too much, y'all. Perry was in the dream too. He was like a super secret agent or something. Perhaps that's where he disappears to every day. <laughs> Do they have any inkling? I'm assuming they say it as like a joke, but by the end of the show, do they have at least some sort of belief that he's a spy or more than meets the eye? Because Phineas and Ferb are like super geniuses and they're not noticing all these things. Maybe that's the point. It's like they're a bit too self-absorbed so they don't even notice, they're just oblivious. <laughs> Yeah, they got swatted. Oh, it's because they said that... <laughs> it is... Oh, don't slap him with the sausage. I couldn't even get a sentence out before the next one came on. So they came and just like took him away because, oh, they're a bit too close to working out what Perry was. <laughs> Get on a silly little tricycle. Candace, we're in a hurry. Just get on the trike. There's we'll no way get I on the trike. <laughs> I don't know why angry Phineas is funny to me. I'm not really sure why anyone will. Hey, Braden. Buford, stop. Aw, poor little guy. Buford, you shouldn't pour anything on the platform. He's swaddling him. He just started swaddling Barry. Hello? 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 Well, your information, I had these way before I met you. So is he like a fanboy? Or does Doofenshmirtz think they're friends? But even then, that's so weird. Can you imagine? <laughs> Especially with someone you worked with. Imagine a colleague that you worked with every day in the office. One day you find out they have your face on their underwear. I'd hand in my resignation that day. Did anyone look? <laughs> I picture like half the people down there looking around like, who calls you my name? <laughs> He's trying so hard to be friends with him. I feel bad for him. A teenage girl? 
the teenage girl? I'm just theory crafting here, but maybe Perry is like a title in the spy world. Like the whole 007. Oh, there's been so many 007s because maybe 007 is actually just a title. And Perry's a title, so it's like Candace puts it on teenage girl. No, no, no. Perry titled the teenage girl. Really, really, it's, it's, it's actually evil. Just kidding. <laughs> I like that they cut it right before he hit the eject. <laughs> you calling me a shark? A shark? Yeah. I mean, first off, Ferb just kind of assaulted that dude, but secondly, alongside being a super genius, is Ferb also a martial arts master that's like, I can destroy a man with my pinky. I said while holding up my entire hand. <laughs> I just met you, but let's <laughs> shave our heads and make a volleyball net out of the hair. Now that. That would be crazy. Yeah, let's. Yeah, it would be crazy. Let's not do that, actually. If we could stay away from constructing things out of human hair, human anything, really, actually, that'd, that'd be ideal. I fear that if I told Doofenshmirtz, hey, let's not make stuff out of human hair, he'd go, oh, no worries, I'll make it out of skin or teeth, you know? And I don't want any of that. <laughs> They should be brought back to their homes and Horrific scream. Oh, really? Maybe I should lock you three up in here as well. Nah, that's cool. Tonight's taco night. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm good. Thanks for the invite, though. It's all G. All G. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna sidewalk all over you. Is he trying to... Oh, I was gonna say, is he trying to be Perry? And then he stood up like a crab. Wow. If I had a nickel for every time I was doomed by a puppet, I'd have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. Right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's a very roundabout way of saying that it happened twice, but I'm not gonna lie, it really did bring home the point. I've really got to stop asking so many questions when I do these, but I just can't help myself. I get, I get so wrapped up in what the hell is going on that I, I can't, I can't just sit back and, and passively consume this. I have to know, I have to think, I have to theorize. I'm sorry about it, I hope you like it. I'm gonna go smack my head into a wall. The last thing I'll say is that while that was strange and confusing, I can see the vibe of the show, the type of humor that's there, and I like it. It seems like Phineas and Ferb has this really unique feel to it, and please don't ask me to describe it because I have absolutely no idea how I would even begin to do that, but when you watch clips like this and you listen to the songs, it just works. And that's all I can say. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to click that like button, and as always, have an awesome time until I see you next. See ya!